So we're just gonna do dinner, drinks, and go home. Y'all, look at. <laughs> yeah, I came in here for laundry detergent. And I wanna put those three black mirrors on this wall. Yeah. Obviously, I've been loving it. Okay, once you start rubbing it in, it starts to feel like a serum. Welcome back to another vlog, girl. Yes, we're in the car. I am about to meet up with Janine. I'm actually gonna go pick her up and we're gonna go to this place called Amore Atlanta. I wanted to do a get ready with me, all that stuff, you know, makeup, hair, outfit, because I have on orange today, y'all. I have color on, crazy. And then I don't know what happened to my little, I think you call them dead cats, the thing that sits on top of the camera, like the little uh, mic. I don't know what happened to it so hopefully the volume or not the volume but the audio is okay like I don't I really don't know how this is gonna sound without it because I never film without it um, but I think it's really supposed to just help um, with wind because it's like a wind I don't know anyway hopefully this the audio was good but yeah that's where we're going headed there now it's kind of like I think it's an Italian restaurant but they have um, <clears throat> They have seafood too. So I'm excited. So we're just gonna do dinner, drinks, and go home. <laughs> it is six o'clock, girl. So you know, and then the place closes at 10. So we ain't gonna be out late. You know, we we old, we getting old. We're not trying to be out all night in Atlanta. Not ooh, something's my eye. Not like we used to. Because I can't hang. I I literally can't hang, y'all. Okay, so we are here at Amor, Eat Amor Atlanta. Look how cute the entrance is. Adorable. And then this is a, look, this is so cute. It's small, but it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Shanine went ahead and, <laughs> she's already in there. All right, y'all, we are in here. The lighting is horrible in here, y'all. So bear with me. I mean, it's not even focusing. That's just how bad the lighting is. So I got the lavender paloma. This is good. It kind of tastes like a fan it tastes like a Fanta, like a strawberry Fanta. We we were watching The Bachelor and we would open your stash. And I was like, yeah, you know The Bachelor. She got an espresso martini. That's what we ate dinner. Oh, let me show y'all. Oh, this is our first time, y'all. This is our first time having an espresso martini. So let's gonna we're gonna get <clears throat> we're gonna get her. First reaction. I think she's taking a photo. Oh. No. You know? Uh, coffee. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, McDonald's wraps are really, really sweet. So that's, is it sweet? Mm. Okay. She, you know, it works. And look how cute it is. Okay, appetizers are here. Oh my gosh, y'all, the lighting is okay. I got the fried calamari, like always. Now we about to chow down. It's not good. He said this was a palate cleanser. It's uh, vodka and what else? Oh no. Friend, it's vodka. It's straight up vodka. Oh my god. It tastes like ice cream. Dipped in vodka. I know. It's good. A little palate cleanser. Okay, I got the fettuccine alfredo because I didn't know what else to get. And she got the lobster ravioli. Y'all, I. <laughs> Girl, look at my buggy. We got this plant. We got three long mirrors because I want to change up something in the living room. And y'all, look at. 
Yeah, I came in here for laundry detergent and I saw these mirrors, they were only $7 each. I'm like, I can't pass that up. So I wanna switch up the mirror that's in our living room right now and put it, um, and put these three mirrors on the wall. And then I also wanna switch out the plant that's in our living room and put this one in there instead. So we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, this is what I wanna change. The mirror right here, which has been up ever since we moved here. And I wanna put those three black mirrors on this wall and see how it looks. Cause I'm just kind of over the circle mirror. So here's the before. Okay, I can dig it. I like this. Hold on, let me give y'all a better view. I like this. I like it so much more than the round mirror. Ooh. And now I can do like selfie photos right here. This is nice. Uh, I like this. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, what I want to do is tackle this because this situation is just ugh, like I don't really care for the decor on here. It's junk. It looks junky. But for now, this looks pretty good. I'm going to change out the lamp. Don't like the lamp right there anymore. And I'm going to switch the lamp over there in the corner and put um, a different lamp right there. And I'm going to move that lamp into my little book nook area. Um, but I just really wanted to change this wall because, hold on, let me put it on 0.5. Or can I change? Ooh. I thought I could change it while it's like this. I don't know. But I really wanted to change the wall. And I like it. I like it so much more now. Yay! Y'all, I'm watching All American all over again because the new season is already out. But it's not on Netflix yet. And we just have Netflix. So I'm just waiting on it to come to Netflix. But until then, I've started the whole season over. So, yeah. All right, friends, I'm starting guys in 40 seconds. Let's get our minds right. Seven and a half minute block. Increase push intensity on second effort. Y'all, this is a t-shirt. Hair towel. It's the new one from Bread. And I just washed my hair. Um, just came from the gym. Washed my hair for the last time before I... Um, go to the salon. I'll probably go maybe like within the next couple weeks. I got to schedule an appointment. But I like this. It has the little elastic to keep it down. Just like the white one that I always wear. I like it. But hey girl, happy Friday. I'm washing my face. Um, I don't know. Oh, I need to get some more of this. I don't know where we stopped off in this vlog. But yeah, um, after I finished my workout, I came home, baby, washed my hair, and now I'm washing my face. I like to wash my face after I wash my hair because you don't want the shampoo and the condition it gets all on my face and stuff. I, you know, feel like it defeats the purpose of washing my face before before I wash my hair. So I just feel like it just makes sense to wash it afterwards. But yeah, I, I'm gonna go downstairs and work on this um, commission site that I discovered. Well, I didn't discover it. I saw somebody post about it on Instagram. She posted about it on her stories. 
and I've never heard about it and I checked it out. I was like, wait a minute, this might be something I have been looking for because with the links, I like for everything to be in one spot, like my magic links, my LTK links, my Amazon links. I know you can do it on Linktree, which is what I do anyway, but I want like one site because I don't have a website. I want like one site where I can link all of my commission links. And, and you guys can go there and navigate through the site. It's called My Shop, no, Shop My. So I've been playing with it. I've already started like listing like my beauty products. I have like different pages for different things. I have the beauty, I have um, my closet, I have skincare, body care, all of that. So I'm not done with it yet, but I'm gonna go down there and work on it. I'm gonna do that for about an hour. I'm gonna do it for about an hour. And then after that, I wanna come up here and play with makeup with you guys. Cause I haven't really just sat down and did a get ready with me. So I think I wanna do that in the vlog instead of doing a whole separate video. I just wanna play in some new products with y'all and just, you know, just hang out at the vanity and do our makeup together. So I think that's what I'm gonna do after I get done with playing with the links and stuff and all of that. But I like the site. It's very like organized and aesthetically pleasing. And I don't know, I just feel like it's very easy to navigate on the site. So um, if you're a creator, let me know if you use ShopMy and if you like it. I'm still pretty new with it, but I like the fact that I'm able to put all of my commission links on there. And if you don't want to use your own commission links, you can earn commission straight from the site, straight from Shop My. Um, so yeah, that, I thought that was really cool. But yeah, I started using the Oat Cleansing Balm even when I don't wear makeup, just so that way it can just melt my sunscreen because I had on sunscreen this morning before I went to work out. Um, just so I can melt it all off the face and stuff. And then I'll go in and clean my face with a cleanser. Which, by the way, I've been loving the Glow Recipe Cleanser um, that I got during the Sephora Savings event. Been using this. Have been loving it. Look, y'all. Yeah. Obviously, I've been loving it. So, I'm just going to use that to double cleanse. I come home and my dogs weren't here. I'm like, where my dog's at? He took him to the groomers today, so that means they're gonna get home and they're gonna look all they, they gonna look different. Cause every time he take them to the groomers, he tell them to shave them. <laughs> so I'm kind of sad. So they gonna be looking different today. I don't know what time he's gonna go pick them up, but yeah, I was like, what? Where the babies at? I got home, they wasn't even here. I'm like, where the babies at? So I'll show y'all what they look like. They're gonna be so skinny looking no hair oh at least have the hair on the face like the little teddy bear look i hope 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 they don't mess with the face because i love that little fluffy squishy teddy bear look on them um but yeah anyway let me rinse my face off and it's kind of hard like you have to put a little pressure but it's fine it's cool <sighs> skin is clean 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 now i'm just going to slap on a little bit of serum i'm gonna probably use the last few drops of my sephora i literally just got another bottle and showed y'all it um showed y'all the bottle in the sephora haul this is the second one so the one that I showed y'all is my third one. Um, but I'm all, I like to let my skin air dry. I don't know. I just don't like putting anything on my face after I wash it. So I just let it air dry. And yeah. Okay. All right. It's almost dry. All right. I'm going to go with, hmm. I don't know if I can get anything out of here though. Uh, there we go. I love 
love when I use products up. I gotta do empties with y'all. Haven't done one of those in a minute. Did I tell y'all about how my nails popped off? Not even 24 hours of applying them. Cause I, I tried out the new Kiss gel adhesive. It comes in like a little black squeeze tube. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Don't like it. Did my nails. One popped off the same day. And then a couple days after three popped off. So I said, screw it. I'm just gonna take them all off. Um, and I'm gonna do another set. Probably not today, probably um, over the weekend. But yeah, love this stuff, y'all. The Glossier Full Orbit Hydrating Brightening Eye Cream. I just do a little bit of this like that. Love, love, love. If I could recommend any eye creams, I would recommend that one. Um, I like the one from Fenty. I feel like a lot of people don't really like the Fenty eye product, like the um, the one that comes in the squeeze tube, not the other one that comes in like the little twist container. Do I have it? I don't. Um, but their older one, their first one, it feels cooling on the eyes. It hydrates my eyes. I love it. I think a lot of people like their new newer one more than they do the older one, but I like the older one. Um, and I also like the Murad. If y'all are looking for a Murad, uh, <laughs> if y'all are looking for an eye cream at night for the nighttime, Murad. Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. Bomb. Now I'm going to put on my Clinique Moisture Surge. Obsessed with this moisturizer. I've used it for years. And I'm always, always, always repurchasing it. Y'all, I landed a deal with Clinique and I'm so excited about it. And it's actually my biggest deal, you guys, to date. I love working with brands when it's a product I've been using. Like a product I've been using for years, a product that I can confidently talk about where I don't have to test it out before filming the content, you know? I love, love, love that. So very excited to be working with Clinique this year um but yeah I'm not gonna put a sunscreen on yet because I want to talk about the sunscreen well one of the sunscreens that I showed y'all when we went to Target the other uh the other week the ones from Naked Skin the cute little cutesy purple pink ones um they were a little pricey but I want to talk about one with you guys when we sit down at the vanity later on today because I've been loving it, y'all. I have been obsessed with it. So, yeah, I'm not going to do any sunscreen just yet. Um, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Now I'm going to run downstairs to my office and then just work on um, the Shop My site. And after that, I'll see you guys at the vanity. Robert just got back home with the dogs. Let's see him. Let's see him. Let's see him. Why they do that to Rob? Look at Riley. Riley. Yeah, yo, mommy's babies. Mommy's babies. <laughs> All right, y'all. I just changed into my robe. You know what that means. We're about to go and get ready. Cause I don't know. I just like. Do you want to get ready with me in robes? Either a robe or a robe. But I'm craving a little bit of a matcha. So I already put my matcha powder in here. I put like a dab of hot water so it can melt it. So it won't be too grainy. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this whipping cream. Just a tad bit. About that much. I don't make my matchas like everybody else. So yeah. And then I take my little... Um, Frother, mix it up. I 
I ran out of my oatmeal creamer. So I'm just gonna use whatever we have in the refrigerator. That's like my favorite part of my matcha is my oatmeal, the silk oatmeal creamer, oatmeal cookie creamer. So I'm gonna take the silk vanilla oat creamer. This is dairy free. And I'm not gonna fill it up. I'm just gonna do about that much. And then I do the rest with milk. The green wise lactose free fat fat free milk. I'm not lactose intolerant. Robert is not lactose intolerant. I just always get this milk. But I fill the rest up with the regular degular milk. So I'm gonna have a good balance, you know? And then where's my straw? Mm, where's my straw? Take the plastic straw and just mix it all together. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I've been making my matcha. Now, it's not usually like this at the bottom. I probably should add a little bit more hot water so I can dissolve it. It's working out for me. It is working out. Let me taste it. Mmm, perfect. This just balances it out because it's not sweet at all. But the creamer is a little sweet. The matcha powder is a little sweet. So I don't want it too sweet. And the, um, yeah, just the creamer and the matcha powder is what makes it sweet. But when I add regular milk, it just balances it all out. I want y'all to hear hello. Okay. <laughs> Testing. Test, testing. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Y'all know I like to plug the mic in when we're at the vanity because of the loud buzzing noise. Um, sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get y'all situated. Okay, so y'all, I... Ugh. I also have a few drugstore products that I haven't even opened yet uh, that I've been wanting to try. So I'm going to use this CoverGirl brow product. Ooh, e.l.f. bronzers. I have a couple of these. I think I want to try both. I don't know. A new blush from e.l.f. Um, and... A lip product. I have so many lip products I want to try out. Er, it's so many things, guys. It's so many things. But first things first, let's do the brows with... Um, it's the CoverGirl Brow Liner. And I got the shade Dark Brown. Oh, and we also need to put some sunscreen on the face. And I have my little Sephora bag right here too because I want to dip in here to see what we want to try out. But let me tell y'all about this sunscreen. I've been obsessed with Naked Sunday. Did I say Naked Skin earlier? It's the Naked Sunday um, Hydrating Sunscreen Moisturizer. This stuff. Obsessed with this because it doesn't leave a white cast. And I like how my skin glows from it. So this is three pumps. I'm just gonna take some of this and put it all over the face. It's kind of like my belief sunscreen because y'all know I live and breathe the belief sunscreen. See, no white cast. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Might need a little bit more. So this is one I've been using lately. I've been using this one and I've been using the one from Murad as well. Okay. That's on. I wanna try the Milk Primer. The thing is I don't use a lot of primer. Like I literally just go in with my products. 
like go in with my foundations after I put a moisturizer or a sunscreen on. But I still want to try this Believe primer with you guys because you guys have been asking me to try it out. And I've been wanting to try it for myself. So this is the Cloud Glow Weightless Primer. It's supposed to give you a smooth, glowy base before makeup. Let's try her out. Oh, this vlog is going to be so long because of this part. Y'all know my get ready with me's be like an hour long. Oh my gosh. Hope I don't I don't want this to be that long. I really don't. <laughs> Cuz I could have just made this into a video. Like a separate video. Mm. We should have did that, huh? We should have did that, huh? It's okay. It's okay. We're here now. So, let's see. Ooh. Look at I don't even know how much they use. <laughs> I guess this much. I don't know. Ooh. It doesn't really have a smell. Yeah, it doesn't smell at all. Mm. Okay, once you start rubbing it in, it starts to feel like a serum. But I don't know if it's because I applied it immediately after applying that sunscreen. I don't know, but it literally feels like I'm rubbing my skin with a serum. Really smoothing. And soothing too. <laughs> smoothing and soothing. It feels nice though. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, ooh. I like how this looks. Hold on. It's kind of hard. Like to okay, there it goes. I just need to warm it up. But there it goes. I'm not gonna do a full face. I'm just really just playing in the products. I'm not gonna do like a um. I don't, I don't know, girl. We're just going to figure out. What, we're just going to go with the flow. Go with the flow. Okay. Looks pretty good. The color is good. I'm going to brush it out some. Gonna take this and clean up under my brows. Yeah, this should have been a whole separate video, but if you know, some of you can just skip all the way to this part because I know some of you like watching my get ready with me's instead of watching vlogs. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I sometimes like to take the Glossier foundation and clean up the top of my brow. Cause this color is like, oop. What did I just do? This color is spot on to my, like it matches my skin perfectly. So I take a dab of it, like a tiny bit of it and um, clean up the top of my brow with it. And this just makes the brows pop, you know, just makes them look more clean and crisp Do -do 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 -do. Da -da 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 -da. I finally got some extra batteries girl I've been telling myself I need to get some more batteries for my camera and I finally got them girl so if this battery dies I have another one I can put in the camera <laughs> Because I misplaced the other, I misplaced one of my other batteries, and I just been working with one battery, so I had to buy some extras. We're gonna use the Super Goop today. Now I did try it in Sephora, and it matched me good in Sephora. So we about to see how it looks, because y'all know Sephora lighting is different. It is very different. And this shade has been sold out for a while online. I haven't checked recently though, so. 46N, 
We're going to try her out. We're going to see how she's looking. And yeah. All right, that's good enough. I'm not going to spend too much time on my brows. Okay, Super Goop Protect Tint Daily SPF Tint. Girl, I've already been filming for 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to edit this down because I don't want this to be the longest part in this vlog, which it is. Obviously it is, but it's okay. Anyway, yes, let's try her out. I still like the other one from Super Goop. Do I have it in front of me? Do I have her? Yes, yes, yes. This one, the Glow Screen SPF in the shade Sunset. Love, love, love. So let's see what this is giving. I'm gonna squirt it on. Oh, oh. I don't wanna mess up my white robe, but I mean, this robe is for me to get ready in anyway. So yeah, I think this is good. Let's blend her out with a brush. This is the Sephora, 50, no, Sephora 64 brush. Love this brush so much. Oh, this gives coverage. This gives coverage. Wait a minute. Okay, let's see if it's gonna cover up my little friends on this side. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. This is cute. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. So that way I can do a full day test with it. Um, and update y'all on the foundation tomorrow. This is looking nice. Like I like the coverage and I like the color. The color works so. Let's see how it looks with everything else that I'm going to put on. Um, okay, so I have a lot of powders that I got. I got the, well, this is one that I know and love, Givenchy. Finally ran out of the mini one. Like, I literally can't get any more out. <laughs> this is going in my empties. Um, but as far as the other setting powders, I got the Hourglass. Airbrush pressed powder. I got the Sealy um, SPF 30 powder. This one, let me see what the color looks like. Okay, we could probably put this all over the face because this is deep. This is shade deep, I believe, the darker one. And, um,. I also got the Laura Mercier press powder, which I've used. This one is just talk free. So the newest, let's just use the new ones. Let's try these out and see. I think, I think I want to go for this for setting my under eye. Um, I'm going to put a little concealer on real quick. A little bit of a Tower 28 concealer. Excuse me. My favorite concealer ever. My favorite concealer. This one and e.l.f. are my two top, my top two concealers. E.l.f. Camo. And I use shade 16 in this. And I use, um, and with the e.l.f. I use shade Deep Chestnut. So, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. While that sits, I'm going to open up that um, that setting powder. Filter and protect SPF. 
Oh, there's a green little puff. That's cute. Yeah, this might have to go all over the face because the color looks pretty. Um, it doesn't look like it'll be a color that I use under my eyes. And it looks like it's about to make a mess everywhere when I peel this off. I need a trash can in here. I don't have a trash can. <laughs> Y'all, when I say I just be throwing stuff on the floor and then if I have like a bag, an extra bag in here, I'll throw the trash in it. But I have another bag. I don't know if y'all can see in the corner. It's like a trash bag back there that I threw trash in. But I need like a trash can in here, okay? A trash can. But look, this is the color. I don't know, maybe we can put it under the eyes. But the thing is it has SPF in it and I don't know if I wanna put that around my eyes cause it might start burning. I don't know, cause you know how some SPFs be burning. But let's blend that concealer out. Y'all, I'm actually uploading this today. Like today, I usually don't film and upload same day but I'm just adding this portion to the um to the vlog because I don't have a lot of footage for the vlog for this week so yeah hopefully it's not too late when I when I upload this but also it's even if it is late it is it's fine like it's fine if you're asleep you can see it in the morning <laughs> like I gotta get out of my head. Like I gotta stop, you know, worrying about, well, it might be too late to upload or it might be too early or da -da -da -da. girl, when your video is ready, just post it. Just post it. Y'all are gonna see it regardless. All right, let's try the Hourglass setting powder. And I wanna try it with my Sephora, cause I'm not gonna use this. I don't like the shape of it. I don't know, maybe I can get, no, I'm not gonna use this. I rarely use the little puffs that come in the thing, but I'm gonna use the Sephora um, pow powder, powder puff. I like the shape of this. I like how it has like a sharp point and it's gonna get right there. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Let's try it. Y'all, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Wow. I was supposed to film a TikTok with this. Hold on, y'all. Let's do this together. Like, for real, for real. Because some of the girls were telling me to, were asking me to do a first impression on the powder. And I'm going to quickly film this TikTok. Who is this? Who takes a meme? Oh. This is why I like TikTok. I can literally just pick my camera up or phone up because I be filming on my phone and just film. Like, I don't have to prepare anything. Like, it just, mm, I love it. TikTok is like, it's just, I don't know. I love it. I don't have to think when I post stuff or when I make content for TikTok. I literally just grab my phone and go with the flow and post. So I'm in the middle of doing my my makeup, obviously, and I'm filming as I'm doing my makeup. And I just realized, or I just remembered that some of you were wanting me to do a first impression on the Hourglass setting powder. So right before I put this on, I was like, wait a minute, the girlies on TikTok wanted me to do a first impression. So I'm about to do a first impression with you guys. I already put a little bit on my sponge because I was about to put it on. And then I was like, wait a minute, let me, you know, film it for TikTok. Um, but I got this shade translucent tan so let's go ahead and put it on I'm gonna put it on this side so y'all can see it better okay 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 wait a minute also I like this little thing from Sephora but wait a minute. I like this. I 
I like the color of it. I like how it's not too, like it's not too light. And I like how my under eyes look so airbrushed. Like, can y'all see that? I'm gonna put some on my lid too. I love this little thing. I might have to go back and get me another one. But first impression, um, I like the color. I like how smoothing it looks on the skin. Like, hold on, pause. For the most part, it looks pretty good. So let me know. I just wanted to show y'all how it looks on my face because y'all were asking how, you know, y'all were asking me to do a first impression and I wanted to show y'all the color, how it looks on my complexion. But this is how it looks once I set my concealer. Okay. All right, girl, I'm about to post it right now. Um, but as y'all can see, it's looking good. It's looking good. Let me get the name, Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Powder. Okay. See, don't have to edit nothing, just film it and post. Put the little caption if you want, your little hashtags. I like to do makeup, hashtag makeup, makeup talk, um, hashtag get ready with me, hashtag Sephora, cause that's popular, hashtag Sephora haul, even though it's not a haul, but still, <laughs> hashtag haul, hashtag new at Sephora, hashtag make new makeup, hashtag setting powder, just so people can know what it is, save and post, just like that. But yeah. Hopefully the sun don't be hitting my face too much so y'all won't see the stuff. But that is how I do my TikToks. Okay, after the powder, you know what? I Y'all, I love this little thing. Like, I love it. I'm gonna put some on the side of my face too because I, I see that the powder isn't that bright. Like, it's bright, obviously, but it's not too light and I can do it right here to kind of, you know, chisel out my face some instead of going in with another powder. Mm. I like this thing. I keep saying it. I know I'm annoying you guys, but I like it. I like it. I'm gonna put some powder right here too. Even though I didn't put concealer right here, I still like to go in <laughs> with setting powder between my brows. As I used to put concealer right here, but I don't anymore. I just, I don't know, I just stopped. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose. And just finish it around my nose like that. Mm, I knew I forgot something. I am ahead of myself, y'all. So far ahead of myself. I forgot to do my setting powder. So again, L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Powder in the shade Copper. I like to take this around the areas that I didn't apply the setting powder. The Hourglass Setting Powder. So, oh, I don't want to get this on my new t-shirt towel. That's okay. I gotta wash it anyway. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to take a little bit more of Now we can do the bronzer. L'Oreal Invalible Bronzer. This is my fave, one of my fave drugstore bronzers. Do y'all think the under eye is too light though? Is it too light? Be honest. Y'all be honest with me. Don't be lying. Don't be lying, girl. Is it too light or is it just right? Let me know. Let me know. And I like to take the MAC bronzer in the shade um, Rich Golden. I'm letting it play. Cause sometimes I don't be watching it back like that for real, for real. I might need to scoot up some so y'all can see my face a little bit more. Should I scoot up some more? <laughs> Girl, if I'm too far, I'm so sorry. Makeup Forever sent me a package, y'all, and this is a product that was in my cart. And I'm so glad they sent this because I was able to take it out my cart. This thing is very pricey. It's the Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. This is what I'm going to use in another Get Ready With Me. Cause this literally has everything it has like contour um blush concealer shades like all the things so this is what it looks like and this is how it looks when you open it up so i was very excited when i opened this package but yeah y'all are gonna see this in my other get ready with me which is not gonna be in a vlog i promise you okay i don't want to make any promises but it's not gonna be in the vlog cut it's not going to be in a vlog. It's just going to be a standalone get ready with me video. So that way I can like really just take my time with you guys and just hang out for an hour or maybe like over an hour because my hour get ready with me videos are one of my favorite videos to film on my channel and you guys love those. So yeah, that's going to definitely be in an upcoming get ready with me video along with other products too because I'm not using all the new products today. I'm just just grabbing stuff and seeing how it looks on the skin. So we're definitely gonna revisit the um, Super Goop SPF sunscreen tint protectant. We're gonna revisit that product in another video, but I'm definitely wearing it tomorrow so I can really see how it wears. But I like how my skin still has that glow to it. Do y'all see that? Like, do y'all see? Like, it still has that glow, and I love a glow. I love the dewy look. I love it. Um, I have, what do I have? Danessa Myrick's Ground Blooming Palette. This will also be in my other, my next, or one of the get ready with me videos so i'm not going to use that yet but i did pick up this this is the house labs lady gaga um blush in the shade fire moon which has been going viral so i want to see what it looks like on my complexion because it looks i mean it looks gorgeous it's gorgeous it's like a peachy nude um color peach orange rust color I don't know but I want to see what it looks like on my skin so we're just gonna take a brush and put a little bit of this on the cheeks oh it actually looks darker on the brush when I put the brush on it okay it's like very faint like it's there, but it's not like pigmented.
pigmented there, if that makes sense. Like it's there, it's cute. Oh, whoa, I put more on this side than I did this side so you can really see it. Whoa, hold on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's really pretty. That is really pretty. Okay. That's cute. Excuse me. I also feel like this could be a color to go on my lid. Do I want to do that? Mm, not today. But I wanted to see how it looked. I wanted to see if it showed up. So it does show up. It definitely shows up, but it's not like boom in your face, but it shows. So that's cute. Um, what else? I'm just going to brush a little bit of something, something on the lids. I, um, there is my little Morphe M504 brush. I'm just going to take, oop. Hmm. I'm just gonna take the bronzer that I used and quickly brush it on the lid to warm up my lids. When you're in a hurry, this is like the best thing to do. Grab a bronzer and just messily rub it all over the lid. You don't even have to be perfect with it, girl. Don't even, just boom, 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 boom. Look at that, look at the difference. Bomb. Get you a nice little fluffy brush. And you're good. See how that just made a difference? Like now everything is really coming together. And sometimes I'll take the brush down the side of my nose where I applied that bronzer. Just to really blend everything together. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. love how my skin looks like my skin skin I love it it looks good um what else I don't want to put lashes on so we're gonna skip that we are going to put what else do I have in here lip products I thought I had something else I do girl I literally showed y'all these elf bronzers and I said I didn't have any new bronzers wow I wanted to use these and the new elf blush wow so these will be in the next get ready with me um what else what else okay I literally don't have anything else like complexion wise that I want to use today so we're just gonna jump to mascara. Actually, no, I mean, I'm not, girl, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> I'm not even gonna put mascara on. Um, we're just gonna jump to lips. I wanna try this new e.l.f. product. It's the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen. What shade I get? Toasted. I'm just supposed to click it. And the product comes up right there. Mm. Usually I'll put something on my lip first. And I had something I wanted to show y'all, I forgot. Bioma has new lip oils. Dang it, I was supposed to put this on, but yeah, Bioma has new lip oils, girl. And they smell so good. This smells like Skittles, I just wanna eat it. It's so sweet smelling and fruity smelling. So good and very, very juicy on the lips. I just wanted to show y'all that. But yeah, don't know why I didn't have it on in the beginning. But let's put this on and see how it looks on the lips. Ah, I just can't stop looking at my skin. It looks so good. Ooh! Y'all didn't tell me these were super glossy. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. About Face have lip products just like this. And it feels and looks just like I have pink 
Paloma, I believe. That's the shade. This doesn't have a smell. Girl, these are so glossy. I'm going to have to put a liner on with this because I'm not going to wear it by itself. Mm -mm. It feels kind of cooling on the lips too. Is it because I just rub my lips with that napkin? Because sometimes when I rub my lips really hard and then put a lip product on, it kind of feels like sensitive. Um, okay, I had my Makeup by Mario lip pencil. What happened to it? Uh, girl, this video is a hot mess. It's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. But this is cute. I just need a liner to go with it because I know it's going to look crazy if I put it all over my lips. I just need a liner. A liner. A lip liner. Mm -hmm. Oh, I put it in my purse. That's what I did with it. It's in my purse. So let's just use this. I didn't want to use this one. I really wanted to use the brown. This is NYX Cocoa. And this doesn't look like, it kind of has a red undertone, which is what I was not going for. But it's okay. We'll use this. Since this is the only lip pencil in front of me. Do y'all see how glossy these are? Okay, this is cute with this liner. Okay. This is actually really cute. This is cute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is actually really cute, the liner and the gloss. I'm done, girl. This is all I wanted to do to the face. It looks a little naked because I don't have any liner on the eyes or any mascara, but I just, you know, wanted to dip into these products and see what they were like, see what some of them were like. But I'm so, 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 so excited for my upcoming Get Ready With Me videos. I miss doing those. I haven't done one in a while, so I'm excited to get back to those. But, um... Yeah, if y'all tried any of these products that I just tried, I want to know how you feel about them. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Y'all know I like to know. Y'all know I like to know your thoughts. So let's talk about it down below in the comments. I'm actually going to go ahead and end this vlog so I can edit it and get it up for you guys tonight. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this week and last week. And I don't even know. I don't even know when I started vlogging for this vlog. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for waiting or not waiting, but sticking around to the end of this vlog and just watching me get ready. Hopefully you guys got re got ready with me too. But that's it, girl. I will see y'all in my next one. Bye, girl. You know when your man didn't want to watch sports? We don't want to hear all that in the background. This is a running errands outfit. Oh, I'm telling you, Walmart. And then some sweet potatoes. Don't